Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is a tutorial of the new extension called the Steel Erection Bid Wizard, which is available for download on the Tecla warehouse. What this extension is, is it's basically a way to go in and apply filters and attributes that can be exported to the Steel Erection Bid Wizard. Uh, which was a software created for erectors. If you're not familiar with the Still Erection Bid Wizard, you can go to the website. Uh, but basically what it allows the erectors to do is to get a very uh, quick and accurate estimate, uh, including labor, cranes, welders, fuel, and equipment, as you can see described here on the web page. So essentially what we want to be able to do is take the data from the Tecla Structures model, get it categorized in an easy way to be able to import into the bid wizard so that erectors can get a very quick estimate uh, for their project. So that's what we've done here with this extension. So I'll just go ahead and launch this extension once you install it from the warehouse. Uh, you'll be able to see it here in the Applications and Components catalog. And then what we'll load is this UI here for this export to the Still Erection Bid Wizard. So I'll just give you an overview of here what we have within this user interface. Um, so like I said, essentially what this is doing is it's just going to pull in selection filters from the uh, just regular Tecla model. And then you define an attribute value that can be applied there to the model. So if I come in here and open up the selection filters again, this is just normal for Tecla users that any selection filter that's saved within here can be added into the user interface. And then I've gone through and I've created some settings here for the Still Erection Bid Wizard. Uh, just prefix them there. And that matches some of the default uh, settings when you go in and import in there. But all this can be tweaked or customized and you can create your own as needed. And then basically over here what you would do is if you wanted to add in a row just click on the add button and then when I click on this drop down I have access to all of those selection filters that have been created or are available there within the model. Then over here on the right hand side we have the attribute values. This is pre-populated from a list including all of the defaults that are available in the Still Erection Bid Wizard so you can see there's a whole lot of them. Um, and then just like everything else within Tackle, this list is also customizable, which I'll show an example of here a little bit later. If you want to come in and uh, tweak any of these or add in your own custom categories. So it's fully customizable. You can use your own selection filters. Uh, you can then come in and customize this attribute list and then just come in and uh, set this up any way that you would want. Uh, add in as many rows as you would want or delete or reorder as required. And then as you open up the tool, this is basically the standard setting of the standard presets that we have built in out of the box that you can then uh, come in and tweak or categorize as, as you need. We also have an option here just to uh, do a manual tag setting. So if I come back here and hit apply all, it's just going to run through all of these filters. It's going to apply this filter and then write this user defined attribute to those parts or pieces. If I didn't want to build a filter, if I didn't have a filter for uh, a group of objects, I could just come in and window select some objects and then choose the manual tag that I want to be applied. And then once I hit apply to select it, it will write that user defined attribute uh, to whatever I have selected there within the model. And I'll show you how that works a little bit later as well. And then we have the ability to clear the tags so we can remove all, so everything that's applied within the model, or just from a selected group of objects, uh, we can go and do that. So um, what I'll do is just go ahead and hit apply to all just so that we can see how this works within the model. So what this does, once I hit apply to all, is it just again goes through, applies that selection filter. Once it selects those objects, it then writes this attribute value to those objects. And it's just stored as a user defined attribute within the model. And then that way we can go in and run a report so that we can export that um, out of Tecla structures and import that back into the biz, bid wizard. So that has completed. So I'm just going to switch over here to the UDA list. And then you can see that as I just start clicking on objects, um, you can see the attribute that's been applied. So this is the bid wizard category that you can see there. And then this is the attribute that's been applied. So if I come in and click on these uh, various objects, you'll see those attributes change and update um, as you can see there. 
So now if I wanted to come in and start customizing this, I'll show you how that will work. So um, up here I have two buttons. I have the ability to open up the category file or the reports dialog box. This just launched the report dialog box um, in Techless Structures. This is if we had come in and clicked this button. And then there's a, a custom report that I've created that exports that information. If we want to open up the categories file, basically the file that controls what's shown in this drop down list, I can just click on open categories file. It's going to open up that list over here. And it's just a simple text file um, where we can come in and basically just write in all these categories and then they'll be populated there. Uh, this is the file that it's reading from the system folder. So I could go in and make any adjustments that I want here. Or another option that we have is the ability for this to read from the firm or project folders here. So this is just an example that I have within my firm folder. If I open this up, you can see that just to show, um, I've cropped out the list and just reduced it. And then I've also added in this My Custom Category. So if I come in and just change the name of this and save that there, then this will begin reading from that uh, specific location. So all I have to do really is just close and reopen the tool. It rereads that file. And then I can come in and just start um, getting access to those categories. So if I click on this, open categories, now you can see that it's reading from the firm folder, not from the system folder. And then if I come in and choose from the drop down, you can see that I have a list of uh, the options there for me. So let's say that I wanted to come in and apply uh, this custom category just to these few objects here. I can just select that, hit apply to selected, and then if we come back here to the UDA list, I can easily see that that's the category that's been applied there. So uh, pretty easy. Again, if I wanted to clear the entire model, I could do that. If I want to remove from selected, I can do that as well. Uh, that's pretty much the options here. And then, of course, you can save any of these settings that you set up. Now if we want to export this information from the Tecla model, uh, like I said, I can just click on the Open Reports dialog box. Essentially that's just launching this command right here. And then I can just scroll down and here I have this Still Erection Bid Wizard export. Um, it's just a file that's created in the format that's required to bring it into the Still Erection Bid Wizard. So I can just click on Create From All. That's just going to go through, find these categories. Uh, quantify them for me and then place them here in this list. So let me just modify this here. All right. And then here I can easily see the category name, uh, the quantities. Uh, these are required so that it imports properly into the bid wizard. And then if there are any phases or sequences applied within the model, that will also be populated. And then this is the report. You just, just take that, um, send it to uh, BidWizard. They can import it on their end, and then they can begin uh, getting their estimates. So it's just an easy way to be able to use the uh, Tecla model to be able to populate information into the BidWizard. So a few of the other things uh, that we've created, as you noticed over here, we have this icon that's available here. Just like all of our extensions, we include icons um, for these that can be used in the ribbon as well. So if you're not familiar with where, where those are stored, um, here this is 2016 or 2017i. If you go to the extension images folder, we have uh, 32 by 32 and 16 by 16 icons so that you can, uh, these are the 32 by 32 and the 16 by 16 if you want to be able to use those and add that to the ribbon. So this is just something custom that I made. It's not included in the installation. Um, for the ribbon, but the icons are if you want to go in and add them there um, as needed. Another thing that I've also added here, which makes it really easy, is um, some preset categories for the organizer for the bid wizard. So it makes it real easy to be able to um, consume that data and to come in and check that. So I'm just going to run this synchronization. What this will do is just pull in the data from the model. And then I have this category set up over here on the right hand side for the still erection bid wizard and then it will automatically subcategorize that based upon the categories that were placed in the model um, as you'll see here. All right. So then here I can come in and click on this. This is automatically using the still erection bid wizard so I can see these categories. And what I did um, is I just showed the count, uh, the category, the phase, and then I included the profile, material, uh, length, weight, and then the top level so that you can come in and spot check any of these 
um, if you would need. So I'll just kind of drag this over here to the right and just shrink this up so we can see here a little bit more on the model. And then what this does, it just makes it a real easy way to be able to uh, interrogate the model. So if I wanted to highlight where those uh, three pieces were, I can just change these settings here within the model. And then I just click on these categories and instead of highlighting, I'm actually gonna select them. That'll make it just show up a little easier. And then you can see that they'll just be illuminated there. Um, and as I click through these, you can see these showing up within the model. And then you'll also notice here these categories um, updating here. So if I wanted to see this information, um, just to be able to spot check any of the values, make sure uh, nothing looks weird and that everything is sh showing up in the category that I think that it should be, uh, then it's just a real easy way to check the model. So uh, this isn't included in the installer. This is just a, a separate uh, download that's available on the same warehouse page if you want to be able to uh, import those and use those. Uh, we didn't want to clutter up the organizer unless people wanted these in there, so that's why we left them separate. So. Anyway, there's a quick overview of the extension here, uh, the export to steel erection bid wizard. It's a pretty slick tool that makes it really easy for these erectors to get the data from the Tekla model um, by setting up any customizable filters that they want and any customized attribute values. Uh, we've included the uh, out of the box settings from the bid wizard uh, just to give you a good starting point. And then of course you can tweak it as necessary. As mentioned, this is available for download on the Tecla Warehouse. We'd encourage you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.